Here we're going to look at what we call a spherical conductor, spherical conductor with a cavity inside. And what's often confusing here is not that the problem is difficult to work with, but that we sometimes confuse it with a different circumstance, a different situation where we actually have another charge inside the cavity. If there's no charge inside the cavity, all of the charge of the conductor will reside near the edge of the conductor and no charge will reside on the inside of the conductor. Whoop, I just erased that part right there. Okay, there we go. And so therefore, whether or not there's a cavity there or not really makes no difference when we look at it from the Gauss's law perspective. So if we draw a Gaussian surface, like a spherical shaped Gaussian surface inside a conductor and including the cavity inside, notice that in that case there is no charge inside the Gaussian surface. And if we then look at this right here, we can then say, well then E dot the area, or times the area of the Gaussian surface, that will be equal to Q inside divided epsilon sub naught, but Q inside is zero divided by epsilon sub naught, so therefore the electric field is simply equal to zero divided by A times epsilon sub naught. And so it doesn't matter how big the area of the Gaussian surface is, it can be inside the cavity, it can be including the cavity, all the way out to the edge of the uh, conductor here,